Is there any doubt that Kurt Russell could still play Snake Bliskin in a movie? Escape from New York, the 1981 thriller, directed by John Carpenter and starring Kurt Russell. The movie is set in a semi-dystopian 1997, where the island of Manhattan has been walled off and turned into a prison. This might sound far-fetched now, but at the time the movie was made, it wasn't much of a stretch to think that New York City could be walled off and turned into a prison. Go look at some of the pictures of the city during this time frame, and it will give you an idea of how far New York has been cleaned up in the past 30 years. Russell's iconic character is being placed in the New York prison, but the night that he's put into the prison, the president's plane crashes in the city. He can receive a full pardon if he rescues the president. It's a simple plot with interesting characters. When should kids today be introduced to this 80s classic? Escape from New York is rated R, but if the PG-13 rating had existed in 1981, I think they would have tried to fit it into this. The language in the movie isn't excessive for an R movie. Just compare this to Beverly Hills Cop. Pliskin does use a few F-bombs at times, but they could have easily been cut down to the allotted one. The film also has its one required bit of nudity that all 80s films seem to have, but this also could have been edited out. The violence isn't excessive or intense. There are a few graphic images, but I think they would be allowed in a PG-13 movie based on today's standards. Preteens and teens could be introduced to enjoy this movie if you don't mind the one brief bit of nudity and the few cuss words. The one worry I have about introducing kids to this film is how dated it looks. For the time it was made and the budget it had, it looks great. However, it doesn't hold up to today's special effects. You can tell miniatures were used along with some matte paintings. I still think the movie can be enjoyed because of the interesting characters and the intriguing story. If they can get by some of the older special effects, most can still enjoy this film. The plot of the movie is easy to understand. Pliskin must rescue the president in order to be pardoned for his crimes. The warden also makes sure he doesn't just take the plane and fly off by injecting some capsules into his blood that will explode within 24 hours. If Pliskin wants to survive, along with becoming free, he must do the job. What I like most about the character of Snake is that he has a backstory but it is left up to the audience's imagination. He is famous among everyone in the prison, but you don't know why. All the prisoners think he has been killed and are surprised he is alive. He is almost mythical in the prison, and you never find out why, which I think adds to the character by letting you imagine what he has done. The plot has some logical inconsistencies, but you can suspend your disbelief since the story is engaging. I think most any child above seven maybe even younger, can understand the plot of this movie. The question becomes, when do you want them to be introduced to the violence the film portrays? Escape from New York, while it is a fun action movie, does hold some deeper themes. It is a product of its time, and of the issues people were worried about. Crime was running rampant, and New York was a dangerous place. In 1981, the year the film was released, there was a documented 2,166 murders within New York City compared to only 328 in 2014. The president in the film is played off as a coward and kind of a buffoon. Jimmy Carter wasn't looked upon as the greatest president when leaving office, and I can't help but think that the character in the movie was inspired by him just a little bit. Right or wrong, that's just the feeling I get. An older teenager might be interested in some of the history to go behind the film and look at it as a time capsule for when the film was made. Yes, it is set in the future from its release, but it's what people thought the future might hold from what they were currently seeing in the country. This could also just be me being interested in history, but there has to be some other people out there that find this intriguing. Maybe? The movie is fun and interesting, and I think it can hold up for a modern audience. I would introduce kids to the film anywhere from 9 to 12 years old, depending on the child. The action, language, and violence in the film isn't over the top, and I think younger kids can handle the film. When would you let your kids watch Escape from New York? When do you remember watching it for the first time? Comment and let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.